thought it was a really good game for us, uh, really good to get that win. Uh, you know, for our team, we've played through a pretty good amount of adversity these last three games. And, and you feel game pressure, you feel uh, you have to play with different lineups, you know, Jeremy's injury happens. And for us to, uh, to really step up collectively and uh, get that win, I'm proud of the team. Really good game. You know, this is what they've done, you know. Louisville, they've um, they make games interesting, you know. Especially the last few games they've played, it's been, you know, a possession game and you know that final five to ten minute stretch. And I thought we did a good job just weathering the storm. Uh, you know, I'll answer any questions, but I just want to talk about two guys, and uh, one is Sean Stewart. And Sean, you know, he's uh he's at his best week of practice, you know, not even close. And uh, you know, a lot of times when you come in as a freshman. I think you, you feel it's uh, they're set up where it's supposed to be just instant success. And you're not supposed to play through adversity or anything else. And he's had a great attitude. He's stuck with it. And I thought it was the best he's practiced because he's practiced. He works on his skill all the time, but also he's been working on his defense, his positioning, and told the team we're going to play the guys that defend and rebound. And today, Sean came in. We had Mark in there flip. Uh, Jared and Tyrese, we found a group that defended and rebounded, and that's what broke open the game. So proud of him. And then Tyrese. And, uh, you know, for Tyrese, he's gone through some adversity this season, maybe not playing as well as he would like at times. Uh, he had the injury happen as well. And for him to come back and respond from this last game the way he did, 24 points, he had, uh, I thought, just a great look the whole time and gave us poise, confidence. I uh, love the way he shot the ball. Just really proud of those two guys. And I lied. I'm going to talk about two more real quick. Mark and Flip on the boards were great. You know, uh, Mark to come back and have 20 and 12. Flip 17 and 15. I thought they just had a great presence the whole game. Hey, John. Hey, Pat. Uh, uh, you obviously brought in a very good recruiting class, but you're a veteran team and your veterans really kind of stepped up tonight to, that, to, to do that. What kind of, I guess, a luxury is that to have those guys that have been through a year or two or three even to step up in that? It's, you know what, Pat, it's really everything. You know, it's, uh, it's uh, when you play in the ACC, the, the teams we play against, there's a lot of different things that go into it. You know, there's... Uh, you get teams in different uh, hot streaks or uh, maybe they aren't playing as well, so that means they're going to play better against you. And going through it, you get a feel for that. And I thought tonight, uh, Flip, Mark, and Tyrese in particular, uh, going through last season, you know, we were in moments like this last year and the wheels fell off a little bit. And so for them, they were the main ones talking in the huddle. They were the main ones. I, no surprise, the three of them were in the game. And that's who Jeremy's been. And I think that's what we missed with him being out last game. And for that beginning stretch when he was out, he's been that guy just to provide um, poise and confidence. And uh, really the three of those guys stepped up in a big way. You know, I've referenced the Tennessee game from last year a bunch. And I've referenced at, at NC State just the moments to put in their heads. And uh, they've done a great job playing through adversity and fighting through. What, what did you see from Louisville in that first two minutes and 15 seconds and had you call the timeout in the second half? Well, really just the fact we couldn't get a stop. And uh, they have uh, really good uh, quickness about them. You know, they have good one-on-one -on -one players. And so it wasn't even about uh, defending an action. It was about guarding the ball. And they have good players. And so they put some pressure on us. I didn't think our talk was the way that it should be. And I've seen them enough where you know how dangerous they can be in those moments. And so just trying to get us more collected, more together on that end of the floor. Yeah, 
there was a stretch between you know on the last part of the first half and and the opening stage of the second where you missed eight shots in a row. Just wondering, was there anything that you know you saw that was like, wrong with your offense there, or is it more so you know stuff that that Bulbul was throwing at you defensively? You know, I mean, look, they they did a good job. I thought we missed some shots, and that's going to happen at times where. Uh, you know, I think we're one of the better shooting teams, but uh, I think for the most part, you can go back on film and see there were good shots. I actually thought we passed up some open ones and took tougher ones on the same possession. And uh, that's what I'm trying to get them to understand fully. Like I thought Jared passed up a bunch of threes tonight. And uh, it's not about, uh, we talk about taking the best shots, but the best shot can be after one pass. If you're open, shoot it. And uh, I think that's something we're gonna see on film uh, but for the most part, I thought we shared it really well, uh, got great looks, and uh, just missed some of them. Hey, John, you, you guys uh, maybe haven't been an outstanding offensive rebounding team all season, but obviously you had an outstanding game today. Was there anything in particular you saw as being the key to why you're able to get, especially in critical times, get offensive board? You know, we talked about it after last game because uh, we just had no presence. When a shot went up, there wasn't even – Pitt didn't even have to block us out. You know, we just didn't go. And, uh, you know, for Flip, he's a really good rebounder. You know, and, and we ask him to do a lot, but we also need him to rebound. You know, Mark, his presence on the boards. You know, Sean, he can do that really well. Even for our guards, you know, each of them got one, just mixing it up. While still getting back, you want to prevent, you know, runouts, of course, in transition. But something we talked about, and we need to do a better job on it. Uh, still want us to make shots where we don't even have to rebound them, uh, but we need to we need to see that consistently for our group. Uh, you kind of touched upon it too uh, early in that second half. Of Google kind of does go on that run, puts it within five. What are you saying to your team to make sure that that doesn't get out of hand? Because like, as you said at the beginning, Google has you know flashes to be able to make things interesting, but for you to be able to take more. Yeah, really is the whole time, the whole game. There's there's all about defense. I really wasn't talking much offense, and uh, you know I thought we let them live in our paint. <clears throat> excuse me, thought we let let them live in our paint too easily. Um, some of it's because they can get downhill and they're good players, of course. Uh, but we just had to have more resistance, and uh, some of the details went out the window there in that beginning part of the second half. I thought we did a good job just sticking with it. And the game of basketball, you're not supposed to be perfect. You know, you wish. The lead was 18 in the first half. You wish you could have extended it, and you know where it didn't become as interesting. But for us to go through that, uh, play with game pressure, and also learn that we have to get stops, I think it was a really important game for us, and especially in that second half. Last question. I'm curious about uh, what you think about the job Kenny Payne has done here, and you know what some of the pressures of being a new coach because you were in that same position. Yeah, I mean, I can have a lot of empathy for taking over a program like this, obviously. And, uh, you know, I know, I'll just talk about KP as a person, as a coach. We've coached against each other a long time, recruited against each other, as, as smart as it gets, as good as it gets. And uh, he's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard coaching at Louisville, coaching at Duke. I don't care where you are, coaching college basketball is hard. And, uh, you know, obviously we're competitors against each other tonight. I wish them nothing but the best, and uh, we're gonna play them again soon. I mean, we play a lot of these guys twice. So, uh, but yeah, I have nothing but respect for KP and who he is and what he's done. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you.